I started searching for comets in 1965 when I was 18. And, and I've never given it up. I've done it since then. I've done it for almost 50 years. And I just love doing it. And it's not so much the discoveries that are important. It is the search that to me is the most exciting. I was actually on the telephone with a friend looking for my telescope and I saw this clustering of stars which I thought was very pretty but then there was a fuzzy nebulous spot right next to it. So I took out a sketch pad and drew it with its position relative to the cluster of stars and as I'm drawing it I'm thinking wait a minute, wait a minute, it's moving, that's a comet. And that was my first comet discovery. I think the biggest discovery is the one that has not been yet made, and that is our ability to understand dark matter and dark energy. We're pretty sure it's out there, but there's no way really of detecting it. And they say the Hubble is looking for it, ground-based telescopes are looking for it. In fact, every new telescope being built right now is being built to look for the dark energy. I think it's there, but I think it's generations away from being actually detectable. The astronomy course is pretty easy. Um, the, the students have to make images of three objects with, the, with either one or the other of the telescopes. They get onto the internet and they type in a little uh, site which brings them to my telescope and uh, then they use it. There's instructions for them how to take the image and how to save the image. So they're looking at a screen but actually they're looking through your telescope up into the night sky. Uh, yes, using their computer. I, I hope to find one more comet at least. And also I would like to see the discovery of life forms, intelligent life forms, on other worlds. I would like to see that someday.